Okay, so I just got a screen recorder for Linux and stuff like that, and I don't like making a video because I haven't made one in nine months. I'm losing subscribers now and stuff like that. So, without further ado or whatever, I think I'll just show you guys this thing that I found out how to do with Cast Crushers, where I basically just modified my controller driver so that I use two characters at once. I mean, like, some people get it as a glitch or whatever, uh, but then, like, uh, um, I purposely did it just because it works, like, very well. So as you can see, everything's all happening at the same time, even though I'm only using one controller. I already have Fencer and Thief set up for this, so I'll just use them. So, as you can see, I have the, um, the gold skull mace and snoot on them for a plus 7 strength and a 4% critical hit rate. Because, uh, that it basically just turns it into a giant powerhouse. So, I'm gonna go to Lava World, and uh, you'll see how broken this is. Basically, I'm just going to be killing these fire demons in like two seconds each. Maybe we'll just, just two that goes with this here. See, two juggles. that. So basically it's it's pretty fun to use in arena mode or whatever against your friends actually. But make sure you do the mini game though because watch. Uh, as soon as I hit my magic jump button I just, they just hit each other. And then yeah. So that's how that goes. Well, this is fun. <laughs> well, I wonder how long I can keep this up for. Actually, I don't want to bore you guys. But yeah, that was entirely unintentional, but it was pretty fun. Nobody wins. Everyone's equally crappy at this game. Or I think mean, everyone's equally a loser. There's no need to sugarcoat it or whatever. So, I guess, like, the only real problem with doing this is, uh, it's kind of awkward to buy potions, but usually, if you just, like, get one guy against a wall, then you can spread them out a little bit, and then you can just buy potions like that. And otherwise, there aren't too many problems with this. Uh, I also kind of found, uh, like, some kind of like problem with the uh, fishmen or whatever. I mean, it's not really a problem. It's just like a flaw with their the way they are. But sometimes, uh, you can if you just hit them at the right time, they'll just keep standing there while you hit the crap out of them, and they won't actually ever jump like this guy. See that? You probably do see it. You just didn't say so. I don't know, it's kind of hard to have an op a conversation when you're monologuing like this. Just look at that loser. He probably enjoyed it. Or maybe he's... Maybe he's not a fan of rape culture. It's just too forced, you know? <laughs> and that reminds me of this one, like, joke I told the other day to my friend. We're like, uh, actually never mind, I, I won't go down that rabbit hole, because that was actually kind of an offensive joke. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, I 
guess I might as well show you how I toggled the glitch, uh, but I doubt most of you on Windows will be able to do this just because this is a special like driver that I had to get for Linux. Uh, so basically I'll go to my virtual drive for Steam and then uh, let's see Steam apps and then right in here uh, I had to manually put these two files into here uh, to fix the controller plugin and stuff like that but then this file right here, x360ce.ini, just open that thing, uh, and then basically, so normally, like, so here's the modified version for the pad one that it has or whatever, uh, and then the other three are different, uh, I have this, I just deleted this stuff for three and four and whatever because I don't use them. You can put, you can copy and paste this stuff into three and four and then you can do uh, all those controllers at once. Like you can do four characters for one controller, but I prefer two because then you can use your XXXYY combo. Uh, but yeah, basically I just copy and pasted the stuff from pad one into pad two. And then if I don't have a second controller plug-in, plugged in, sorry, then uh, basically it just uh, will do two characters for one controller. But it doesn't, but I can still use a second controller and have that controller operate the second character apart from the first controller, which is nice because then I don't have to change anything when I want to play with someone else. Uh, so I guess that's all. Thanks for watching and stuff like that. And uh, I hope I can make more videos soon, but I'm like going to college and stuff, so that might not happen or whatever. Well, uh, that is the end of the video, I guess, or whatever. I'm kind of just rambling off about nothing now, so whatever. Bye.